it looks like they're going with I'm very curious what the FPS is going here that's actually pretty cool So I like that as well. So it show like for those who are very self-conscious about um you know speed runs and FPS and all that, it, it again caters to that. So let's try this out. It, again, it's running on the PlayStation um one kind of controls here, with circle being would be like the default confirmation, it looks like. X being denial or whatever. Okay. Okay, they're doing bumper for the jump. I think I had an issue with that before. Like I I prefer A button to be jump, so hold on. Ah, my brain keeps thinking that's confirmed. All right. Okay, we'll leave dash as bumper. Interact, we will leave that as this as X. Shoot, we'll leave as trigger. That actually works out. Uh, special, we will leave it as bumper. Pause for that. Uh, menu left, right, da da da. Menu confirm. We'll also leave that as that. Menu back. Okay. It doesn't default it or does it remove it? Oh, okay. Cool. It actually saves it both for jump and uh, confirm. So that's actually pretty nice. That's my thing, too. It's like I don't try to mess with too many things here, but just certain things like that. Yes, that makes it much better for me. Like, like, A button has to be jumped because, like, it just works that way for me. Like, the bumper for speeding along, that's perfect, but... Okay. Welcome, child. It has been a long time since we had eyes on a new traveler. I feel I'm exactly out of practice. French? I agree, I agree, uh, Clay. It's, it's like they, I'm trying to think of the game, I'm, like, there's a game this reminds me of, and I can't think of it at the top of my head anymore. It's something I played before. Was it Claw, Captain Claw? Next, that one called. The one that you're, like, you're, it's a pirate theme in it. It's like the character looks, um, it's a white, ghosty looking character. What the heck's it called? Holy crap. Captain Hook or Captain Claw? Was it Captain Claw? That's gonna bug me. Hold on. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Draconic. Hold on, we'll reset the stream, everybody, real quick. <laughs> but how you doing, bud? Okay, super super Captain 3D. I wasn't that. Hook. Flint Hook. It was Flint Hook. Um, the game I was thinking of was Flint Hook. It was uh, put out by Tribute Games. Give you a quick link here what I was talking about. Like, Flint Hook, that one is, like, excellent as well. Like, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Very hard, though, in certain parts. Like, I'm not too good with it, but... All right. Kind of reminds me of this a little bit. Yeah, Flint Hook is solid. Like, a definite awesome, awesome platformer in the uh, indie community, like, indie category. Yes, yes, forgive me. This is Mamara Station, your first stop on the way to Clock Tower. Oh, jeez, I hope no one comes with a big pair of scissors. That'd be terrible. And I am the caretaker. As a young man, I have tried to convince you to abandon your journey. But we both know you only ignore me. Indeed. Or instead, take this ticket. Metro ticket. You can ride the Metro freely with it. Awesome. Look at these vi- I love the 3D effect they got going here. Like the 
multiple planes here. Like, you see what I'm talking about, right? Like, how it's kind of, it's like several layers and as you move. See what I mean? Like, it has that whole 3D vibe to it. Like, I'm drooling about that a little bit. That is actually really cool looking. But yeah, those controls, though, they had by default. I mean, I understand what they were trying to do with that. But honestly, I, I need the the jump the BA because that just it works better for me. Because I get all screwed up with the uh, the triggers being jump and everything. Raising groove. Floor one. Eleven floors remaining. Oh crap, I didn't see that down there. Whoops. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I understand why they said it like that too. It's kind of like that speedrunner kind of thing, which I think most speedrunners have like to use the triggers a lot for like bump, like uh, sliding and jumping too. Like it's it's a little bizarre for my brain because I'm more like traditional using the buttons on the uh, like using the buttons here. I mean I'm not trying to go incredibly fast in the game, but but I get what the motive is with it. Like I understand the concept of the the template of it. Uh, take. I have a key. The chest room. Unlock. I have a heart. Pull it. Hopefully we get some... The Un Abyss was a really good game. Uh, the controls are a bit... Yeah... I've seen some people who were talking about that and didn't like it too much with that. Okay, what I have to offer her now? No, I'm tired of offering hearts here. <laughs> this whole like, you have a heart thing and, and go somewhere special. Oh, it crap. Okay, they explode in little tiny ones. Gotcha. Lost once more. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. Memory of station. Okay, try it again. Cool thing about this too is if you're trying to rush through it, you can kind of just skip all the animations. The last um, exception to the uh, elevators, though. Oh, wait a minute, what? I thought those were crystals for a split second. I got excited. They lied to me. Okay, get a heart back. Cool, cool. Another one of those heart chests. Come on. Everything offers a, you need a darn heart in this game. Like, I never fall for it in Binding of Isaac either. 
No. I'm not sure I'm going to get another heart. protection. Awesome. I like that. Okay. We're gonna just uh, run in the quarter here, then we're gonna wrap it up. Oop. Oh, how come they get to walk through spikes? That's mean. Nothing from them. Oop. Oop, got something. What's that? Sweet. What's this? trying to take my life no I'm tired of giving up my heart in this game <laughs> Trying to break my heart. Okay, this one looks like it's going to give me something. Oh, it's a baby chest. Uh, increases chances small chests to appear and improve their content. That's an evil chest, though. Uh oh. Denial. Come on, Denial. Oh, what am I doing? Get those nice crits in, though. We're going much faster now. Wait, she has nose in the world. Oh. Okay, nose feels better. I was trying to bait him and it was a horrible idea. Oh, now what is he doing? No! 
Oh, I would have had it! Oh, the other boss I fought in this game, I was actually this close to beating it too, and I screwed up. Uh... All right. Oh, what? Like, I was so excited. I got too greedy, and that's why I, when I ended up paying for it. You can pet the cat. That's it. Best game ever. Axel, again, please forget what I said anything. I'm sure it's all very challenging. Try it again. One more attempt. And then we'll move on. Welcome back from Egypt. there. Be very careful because sometimes their their uh, little attacks kind of go past my uh, projectiles there, and I don't notice them. She's like, "Hey, let me give you something." I'm like, "No." Thank you. What do you got to offer? Offer hearts for what? No, I'm tired of offering hearts. Crap, what? Why do I keep bumping into those guys? I don't know. Get nothing there. Someone was there. What was I doing? Okay, is this. Um. Well, let's follow your aim direction. See, no, I. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Call me stubborn, but I kind of like my hearts.
I apparently have one heart left, so I gotta be very careful. Very sus. Watch out for those little guys, they will become vicious. Oh, it's so cute. Uh familiar the spawns in a room for every second. Alright, we'll take that too. It is cute. Oh, it's so cute. It's a fairy key. Look. Oh, it's him again. Denial. Oh, I got it. And there he is. And there he went. All right. We got 11. That one I just got mopped up with. There was no excuses. But that right there is Ravetta. Again, really solid game. Ben Starr did so far a pretty excellent job with it. Like, I cannot wait to see what... Yeah, like, he just cleaned me up real good. <laughs> it wasn't even a thing. Again, it's an early access, really, really solid game. You can access the roadmap here. You can join the Discord. All that good stuff. But let's go swiftly on because we have a couple more we do have to cover. We're taking a break here, probably after this next one here, which is finally some Nero deck or Nero deck psychological deck builder. Never played this before in my life, but I heard a lot of really, really, really quirky things about it. And what the heck is going on with that? It's near our deck, maybe? Yep, just near our deck. Update. Close. 